Welcome to Homebrew Wednesday. This is going to be a short one because I'm still not well. Um, I've got a bad case of the man flu and I uh, can't seem to shake it. Um, I posted a video a couple of days ago on the on my New Zealand Pale Ale that I made and that had a Krausen or Kreuzen, Krausen, however you say it, um, that just didn't seem to want to, to quit. And it was almost like there was a Pavlova sitting on top of the that beer. Um, and I had a few responses of people saying that everything's alright. Um, uh, if you haven't seen the video, I used a different yeast because I usually use US05 for my pale ale and it wasn't available so I had to use a Y yeast, um, American ale yeast or something like that, 1056, something like that. Um, and it's got a whole, well I'll, I'll show a clip of it now so you can see what it's doing. So this is my New Zealand Pale Ale, which has been in the fermenter for about two weeks today, or two weeks today exactly. Um, and it's looking pretty good at the bottom for a brew in the bag. But as we go up, um, it's looking pretty sticky on the inside. And as we get closer and closer to the top, we can see it's looking extremely gooey on top. So basically, um, that's been sitting there for two weeks and it doesn't look like budging. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I've seen Adrian Woodhouse's Homebrew Wednesday tonight, and he secondaries in a corny keg, because he can fill it with CO2 quite easily, um, and there's no risk of oxidisation, and then he can dry hop in there as well. So thanks for that tip Adrian, I'm going to transfer it this weekend into a corny keg, um, and dry hop it as well. Because that was another concern of mine that there wasn't enough um, hop flavour and aroma. So hopefully I'll get it. I'll definitely get some aroma. Hopefully I'll get a bit more flavour out of that. Um, I had a knock on the door yesterday, and um, there was a courier there with a rather large package for me, and it had this in it. Now this was something that I ordered about two months ago um, off a website and it never turned up so I cancelled the order with the website and they refunded the money and it still turned up anyway so basically I've got a free mash tun here so pretty exciting um, haven't really got much to talk about um, I'm planning on doing some brewing um, the brew system that I showed last week I'm still waiting on the electrician to come around so I can use it because um, I need to get some brewing done before Christmas because the wife informed me yesterday it's six weeks to Christmas um, and I've basically only got the one the one beer on the way so hopefully the electrician will come in the next few days or early next week and sometime next week I'll be able to get a double batch brewed for Christmas um, haven't got anything else to say really that's it though I'm not even having a beer at the moment um, so Hope you're having a great Homebrew Wednesday and I'll see you all next week.